Yo, what's up, guys? Today, I want to kick off Black History Month. What a little bit of kung fu. I've always been a big fan of kung fu movies. I love all of the old Bruce Lee movies. In today's video, we're going to be looking at a legend, the legendary Jim Kelly. He was a killer, man with quick hands for show. My hope is that I can finish three in this month. <laughs> I know we're already like halfway through the month, but I'm having a lot of fun with this and I'm painting a lot. So I'm hoping that I can finish up three of these paintings. And then maybe one day, like two, three years down the line, we can take a look back at all of the Black History Month paintings and hopefully see like an evolution of what I've done as an artist. I think that'd be really cool to look back and you know see how far i've come <laughs> yeah so uh, i don't want to hold you guys up let's get right into the video jim kelly a towering figure in both martial arts and film brought a unique blend of skill charisma and athleticism to the silver screen what sets him apart from many other actors of this time is that he wasn't just playing a martial artist, he was one in real life. Before he ever stepped foot on a movie set, Kelly was already a certified Kung Fu master with the black belt in karate. Born on May 5th, 1946 in Millersburg, Kentucky, Kelly's journey into martial arts began during his college years. He immersed himself in the discipline, dedicating countless hours of honing his skill and mastering various techniques. His commitment paid off as he swiftly ascended through the ranks, eventually earning the prestigious status of black belt. But Kelly's impact wasn't confined to the dojo. He opened his own martial arts school where he not only taught students the physical techniques of self-defense, but also instilled in them the mental discipline and philosophy that underpin martial arts. His school became a hub for martial artists drawn to Kelly's expertise and dynamic approach to teaching. It was Kelly's prowess in the martial arts that caught the attention of filmmakers, leading to his breakout role in the 1973 classic, Enter the Dragon. In the film, Kelly portrayed Williams, a formidable martial artist who crossed his path with Bruce Lee's iconic character, Lee. Kelly's performance was a revelation showcasing not only his physical abilities, but also his natural charisma and screen presence. Following the success of Enter the Dragon, Kelly's star continued to rise in Hollywood. He headlined several action-packed films, often playing characters that exuded confidence, strength, and a touch of swagger. Movies like Black Bell Jones 1974 and 3 The Hard Way 1974 further solidified his status as a bona fide action star. But Kelly was more than just a martial artist and actor. He was a trailblazer who shattered stereotypes and broke barriers. In an era where leading roles for African American actors were scarce, Kelly carved out his own path becoming a symbol of empowerment and representation for many. Though his time in the spotlight was relatively brief, Jim Kelly's impact on both martial arts and film industries endures to this day. His legacy serves as a testament to the power of determination, talent, and unwavering pursuit of one's passions. Even after his passing on June 29, 2013, Kelly's influence continues to inspire martial artists and movie enthusiasts around the world, ensuring that his legend will never fade. All right, so editing Chuck here. I screwed up on all of So at first I wanted to put like a fabric design in the background and I took video footage of it and, and everything I don't I wanted to show you, I promise. <laughs> and then that didn't work out. So uh, I messed up the fabric. So then I decided to try to do like a different type of fabric background. And um, yeah, I'm showing you pictures of it because I accidentally deleted all of the footage of me doing the background. So <laughs> all you can see is just the thumbnails that I got off of the uh, camera. That I, I don't know why I do that all the time. Just, uh, trying to make space <laughs> but anyway i just went with the tried and true gold paint in the background acrylic gold in the background and called it a day for this part but yeah sorry <laughs> dropped the ball on that <laughs> but yeah let's keep this thing going
So Jim Kelly was really an actor before my time. Oh, but without him, there wouldn't be a undercover brother. There wouldn't be a Bruce Leroy. There wouldn't be a Black Dynamite. Like, he really paved the way for putting, you know, because Black people in Kung Fu have one, like, like age old like relationship. I heard that back in the day, like the reason Wu Tang got into like those kung fu movies and whatnot is because they couldn't afford uh, the cable, and that was what was showing on the like just the regular TV and whatnot. And just like throughout the years, like like I mentioned before, Bruce Leroy, oh my God, The Last Dragon, one of my favorite movies. You already know. Go check out the Show Enough video if you don't know about my love for The Last Dragon, but he paved the way for all of these guys and for that i am forever grateful and that's why i really wanted to do a tribute to him for black history month i mean like like i said dude is like a legend and you know like he was a kung fu master before he even got into tv he had his own school won like multiple like kung fu tournaments and stuff like that's just hella dope to me. Like, how could it not be? And how could I not show some respect to the to the homie that like paved the way for a lot of the things that I truly, truly love. And for him to be in the Bruce Lee joint, like a Bruce Lee joint, like <laughs> I have to say to people, yo, my name is Chuck Lee. No relation to Bruce, but we kick it the same because I like, I love his, you know, philosophy and you know, and he just sweet with them hands and comfort, man. Like, yeah, so that's, what this means to me and as we like wrap up this painting i just wanted to say thank you again for coming out and yeah let's go ahead and wrap this thing on up <laughs> Yo, thank you so much for coming out for another video. This joint was my joint right here. It, it feels good to go back into like portraits too. Like this was like real nice to get back in. After doing like the Octo booth, you know, I got kind of like a, a refresher, like a palette cleanser of like, you know, really trying to get into the portraits. And I went into this one a lot more like loose and like all of that. But yeah, this one felt so good. Yeah. So stay tuned and uh, pretty soon you'll be getting another one of these videos and hopefully maybe another one but we'll see I was, I'm, I'm painting my ass off but we got a lot of good stuff coming for the future yo peace and so much love for you coming out for another video oh yeah this one was fun we are kung fu and yo if you haven't already the store is open go get you some chuck lee gear you know chuckleemedia.com go check out the stuff over there i'm going to be adding some original paintings to the website but for now it's just t-shirts and hoodies and stickers and prints so go get you some and uh yeah i'll catch y'all in the next time for some most sweet shit <laughs>